If you want to learn how to make $150 every single day from passive income, then you've come to the right video. Today, I'm going to show you how you can make up to $150 every day or $4,500 a month using this method. And the method we're going to be using today is selling something that is kind of like this. It's not exactly the same as this one, but it's kind of like this notebook right here. And I'm going to guide you through the whole process so you don't have to worry about anything. So I'm going to show you how you're going to be creating those books and how you're going to be selling them to the right people, putting them in front of the right people so you can get paid for them. You don't have to worry because you don't have to write any books. This method is completely free and it works all over the world and if you're new to the channel make sure to hit that subscribe button if you like to make money online of course i post three long form videos every single week in this channel with different methods that you can use to make money online so if you like the sound of that go ahead and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the future videos so what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be selling low content books and a low content book is just a book that doesn't have much content in it a lot of people are using this method to make a lot of money on amazon and i've been getting a lot of comments from you guys asking for a quick and easy method to make money online so so this is it. If you're waiting for a quick and easy method, this is the one, but you need to take action. I can see lots of you are just watching the video and you're not doing what I'm teaching in the video. You're asking me questions that I'm covering inside the video. If you're already subscribed to the channel, then you know the drill. Click where I click, do what I do. And by the end of this video, you're going to be ready to make money, but you have to do what I'm telling you to do. Now with that out of the way, let me show you the website that you're going to be using to create these books easily. So the name of the website that we're going to be using today is bookbolt.io. Now, once you hit the homepage of bookbolt.io, what you have to do is you need to create an account, obviously. So we're going to click at login right here at the top right corner of the site. Now, after you click login, you're going to see an option on the top right corner again saying sign up. So what you have to do is click the sign up button. Now, when you click sign up, you're going to see that they're going to be saying $9.99, $89.99. You're going to click three day free trial. You don't have to worry about paying it because we're going to be using a free trial. So you don't have to worry. Now, as you saw, click the three day free trial from $9.99 and then you input your details and click next. What they're going to ask you for is your name, email, password, your city is optional, state and address is optional. So you don't have to input your address. If you live in a different country, you can basically come to this drop down menu and search. If you live in any of these countries, then you're probably good to go with the website. Okay. So I'm going to do that right now. All right. So as you can see, that is all I've done. I've just input my details and I'm into the website right now. Just logged in. You're going to be faced with this homepage right here. And when you log in, you're going to see uh, many videos teaching you how to use the website. You don't need to go through this because you're watching my video right now and I'm going to teach all that you need to know about this website. So just skip this part. All you need to do is click research at the top left corner right here. Click research and click create. That's what we're going to be using. After you click create, you're going to be faced with three options. You're going to choose book bolt designer. You're going to click this option right here. It's the middle option. Just click the middle option. So when you click the create option, you're going to be faced with this design panel login. All you have to do is input the same email and password that you use to create your account on book bolt. So that's what I've just done. Once you log in, you're going to be faced with a choose a template one. All you have to do is click the X right here. We're not going to be using this template. All you have to do is close it. Now, once you do that, you're going to see an option to click to try BookBolt Studio. So it's located at the top right corner of the website. All you have to do is click the try the BookBolt Studio option. It's going to ask you to log in one more time. All you have to do is input the same details that you used previous two times in this website and you're good to go. That's what I'm going to do right now. Now it took some time to load. It might take some time to load for you as well. So don't worry about it. It's the website is it's kind of heavy. So once you log in, it's going to ask you what type of book that you want to create. So in my case, and you can choose the same option as me, no problem. You're going to go with paperback cover and interior. So it's already pre-selected. So you don't have to select it yourself. If you want, you could change it to something else, but I'm just going to go with this one. So it's going to ask you what type of what trim size that you want to use for your book. Right now I'm going to click uh, use this six by nine option and a six by nine would be something around this size. So it's not exactly this size. I don't think it is, but it's something close to this. Okay. Just so you know what size book that you're going to be making. So now it's going to ask you what interior uh, and paper type that you want to choose for your book. So I'm going, I'm going to go with a uh, black and white interior with white paper. That's, you know, standard in the market. Just, I'm going to use that. Now it's going to ask you for the bleed option, bleed or no bleed just means that the words will go into the end of the page. So if you want that to happen, you can choose bleed. And if you don't want that to happen, you can just choose no bleed. I'm just going to go with bleed for this specific example. You can choose a book count. Uh, you can choose between 
24 and as much pages as you like, I think. Let me try 500, see what it says. Yep, I think you can, you know, make a huge book, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna go with the 50 page book just for the sake of it right now. No, I'm gonna use 100 pages, all right? So let's make a big book. 100 pages is a lot, guys. So yeah, let's go with 100. So it's asking for a project name and I'm just going to name it journal, create project. Just click, click the blue button, create the project. It's going to load and it's going to show you this exact same thing that you're seeing on your screen right now. So right now what you're seeing is the cover of the book. So the right side is the front cover of the book and the left side is the left side is the back cover of the book, okay? Just so you guys know what you're looking at right here. And you can see that it also says the information here in the bottom, front cover, back cover, so you don't get lost. So right now we don't need to keep looking at this cover, so I'm just gonna hide it. I'm just gonna click here and hide KDP cover template. So I don't wanna keep seeing this all the time. And what you wanna do is you wanna choose choose a specific niche to make your book from. So what I like to sell and what, you know, actually there are some niches that sell well on Amazon. There are some niches that don't do very well on Amazon. Uh, I'm just going to go with mindset because that's something that I like to do. And I know that most people buy mindset books on Amazon. There are some other niches that do well at certain types of the year. Like say you it's near Christmas and you sell a Christmas book, it's going to sell well. Let's say it's Mother's Day and you want to sell a book that relates to mothers, then it's going to do well. So you get the vibe. Like there, there are seasonal books that do well at certain types of the year and you can use that to your advantage to make more sales. So you want to get an image for your cover of the book. So what you want to do is you want to click here at the left corner here, you're going to see an image. Uh, just click that and it's going to show you this page right here. All you have to do is you need to choose an image. You can choose, you can upload your own image or you can go to Pixabay or Unsplash. Both of these websites are stock footage websites. So any image that you choose here, you won't have any problems with copyright. You don't have to worry about it. That's why they have it in this website for you to use them for free. They are stock image websites. You can choose anything that you want. So since I'm going for a mindset book, I'm going to look for something that inspires when people see it. Something that is, you know, kind of like a mountain or something. So I'm going to choose this one. Now, the next thing you need to do, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, guys, it really helps the channel out. If you do, if you don't want to miss out on the next future videos on how to make money online and make three videos every single week, just go ahead and click subscribe to the channel right now. You won't regret it. And if you want one to one coaching on how you can make money using several different ways, drop shipping, copywriting, social media, how to build a YouTube channel, how to get a, a successful YouTube channel that makes you actual money that you can rely on month to month, you can just go down in the description and check out the link for my 49 bucks a month course. It's only 49 bucks and you're going to have access directly to me and videos explaining how you can do everything, how you can build the business off the ground and make it profitable. So if you're interested, go down in the description and check it out. Now, the next thing you have to do is you need to fill out the page with your image. So we don't want your book cover to look like this. So what you have to do is you click the, the corner here of the image and you're going to drag it like this. You're going to make it bigger. So when you do this, it's going to fill out the whole cover of the page. This just like you saw right now, as you can see, it looks beautiful, right? It looks pretty good. You can see here also that it's not showing any blank spots right here. I could even make it a little bit smaller. So now what I want to do is I want to add a title to my book, right? People need to know what the book is about when they look at it, right? So the way you do that, you need to look here on the left side where we found the place to put the image. It's right on top of it. It says a little T and it means text. All you have to do is click the text button. It's going to show you some options of fonts that you can use. So. For this specific case, I don't want to get too fancy. I just want to go with something very, you know, bold and regular. So I'm going to use the, the regular heading. I'm just going to place it where I want it to be. So your options here are you can resize it. You can change the color of the font. You can change everything about it and you can even add some shapes if you wanted to. Um, there are different options here. You can change the color. You can add more images. You can add other stuff, but we're not going to mess with that for now. If I were you, I would just stick to the actual, uh, you know, simple heading. If you make it too fancy, you might scare off some people. It might look fake or something like that. So I, in my experience, what does sell better is something like natural, just standard from the market. So I'm just going to stick with this one. I'm going to change the font a little bit. So I'm going to use the light one. So I decided to make this journal a little more actionable. So I named it the mindset journal. And you can see that I didn't put much effort into it and it already looks, you know, acceptable. <laughs> I wouldn't use this to sell though, because I'm only building this journal to show you guys how you need to do it. Okay. So when you do it yourself, 
please put more effort into this because you're going to be selling this and you want to have the best chances. So after we've done that, what you want to do now is you want to build the interior of the journal. You want to be able to build the interior of your book and how you do that. Once again, we're going to go to our left menu here and we're going to click this little maze button click on that and you're going to see that you're going to be faced with interior templates library and like i said you won't have to write anything they've already done most of the work for you so all you have to do is you need to choose a template that actually matches the book that you're trying to make so in my case it's a the mindset journal so i'm going to choose something very simple a ruled three variants college ruled paper so after you select college ruled you're going to be faced with this option right here this page right here and what you have to do here is really simple it looks scary but it's not it's actually very simple all you have to do is you need to select all of the pages so click here select all of them and you want to deselect the first one because this is the cover of the page and we obviously don't want to make it blank with some you know lines on the page so we don't want to select the first one because the first one is the cover of the book we don't want to mess with that just deselect it just click on it and it will deselect the page after that just check if all of them are selected if it is then you just click next and then don't mess around with this it's okay just click next and submit again after that if you look in your left side here you're going to notice that the pages have now been modified they're like we want them to be so people can write on the pages so now we have our book and it's ready to go what you have to do to save it to your computer is you want to click project on the top left corner right here as you can see the cursor just click it download this project rgb what you want to select is the first option just click on that option it's going to take a little bit of time because it's loading the book you don't have to worry so after your book saved what you need to do is you need to go to amazon kdp amazon kdp just type that in google and you're going to find a website when you reach the amazon kdp website you're going to be faced with the website just like this one that you're looking at right now and what you have to do is you need to log in and just by coming to this page, I want to explain to you guys one thing before we log into the page, and that is how are you going to get paid? So when will I get paid? When will you get paid? You will get paid once a month. You will get paid every month, approximately 60 days after the end of the month in which the sale was reported. So you're going to be paid 60 days after your first sale at the end of the month. OK, so every single month you're going to be paid once a month. And how will you get paid? So the payment methods that they work with are direct deposits into your bank account or wire transfers. And also they work with checks. So you can get paid directly to your bank account or you can you get a wire transfer or you can get a check. It's up to you. So for the payments, that is it. Once you get to the KDP website, what you want to do is you want to log in. And once you log in, you want to click create. You're going to see this big yellow button. All you have to do is click create. You're going to see now this page here is showing uh, what would you like to create? You're going to click paperback book. So you want to create a paperback. So once you click paperback, what you want to do is you want to choose the language that your book is going to be in. You're going to choose a title. How will you choose a title for your book? Look, a few days ago, I made a, a video explaining how you can make viral videos. In that video, I explain how you can find titles. I, I explain how you can find keywords, tags, hashtags, titles, everything. I go in depth and I even give you a template for you to do that. So if you want to find out, you want to learn how you can find out the best titles because title is key. It's like making a YouTube video. If you don't choose a good title, you're not going to entice the person to buy your book. So what you have to do is after you finish watching this, you can go back to that video. It's called how to make a viral YouTube video. Don't worry about the viral title. It's going to show you how you can get titles, how you can get tags, how you can get everything, keywords for your books. You can simply use the titles and tags that you find there in your book here on the KDP website. OK, it's going to work perfectly. It's going to do wonders. Now, after you find your title, after you went through all of that process, use the template that I gave you in the other video and you find your title. All you have to do is put your title here. Subtitle, it's optional. I don't like to go with the subtitle. You, you don't need to use it, um, to be honest. Don't use it. Series, you can add a series of books if you wanted to. If you have like a book one, book two, book three, then you could add a series to your book. Uh, edition number. I won't add a edition number because my book in this case is just going to be one. So I only have one edition. Now in author, what you're going to type in here is your name because you are the author of the book. So you're going to put your name in here. All right. Once you put your name on as the author, 
contributors you don't have any contributors and this is optional so you don't have to put anything in here as you guys can see just follow what i'm doing uh if i left it in blank uh, then it's not necessary the book title is going to be necessary so i'm just going to type something here the mindset journal contributors you don't have to put anything description write a description for your book so to write a description for your book all you have to do is go back to the video that i showed you how to create a viral youtube video i also show you how you can create a description for your video you can easily use that method to create a description for your book okay so rights publishing rights this is very important you need to i own the copyrights to the necessary publishing rights because if you don't have the rights to use this book then you probably won't be able to sell it so you need to mark this option selling kdp that you have the rights to sell the book so as you can see here i just typed in some keywords now after the publishing rights what they're going to ask me for is the keywords uh the keywords you're going to be able to find on the other method i'm not going to explain it in this video because it's going to make this video huge in the other video i already went in depth into that so all you have to do is just look in my channel and find that other video keywords i typed in some out of my head so mindset mindset journal millionaire mindset journal uh, how to have a millionaire mindset these are all things that people are going to be typing in amazon when they find your book so this is going to be crucial and important for you to make more sales if you put something in here that's not relevant to your book then people are not going to be able to find your book so it's very important that you put something here that is actually relevant so right here it's asking for the book category what you have to do here is you have to choose the category that your book is so what I did here is I chose nonfiction, self-help and affirmations. The better you can choose your category here, the more sales you're going to make, because if you can really niche down your category, then Amazon will know who to push your videos to. And this is crucial. This is very important. If you do this part well, then it substantially raises the amount of sales that you can make. Right, I'm going to click save. Now I'm going to choose what kind of book I'm trying to sell. In my case, it's a low content book. So I'm just going to click that. If you're doing a large print book, then you could just select this other option. So it's asking me if this book has inappropriate content, adult content uh, for people that are over 18 years of age. And it is not, it doesn't even have anything on it. So I'm just going to click no and save and continue. So now the print I S B N, you don't want to do your use your own. You just want to publish without one. So all you have to do is select this first option right here, publish without an ISBN publication date. You can just leave this blank. You're going to, you know, publish it as soon as it's ready to be published. So you don't have to select anything here. Now you're going to select what type of paper you want to use. Just go with black and white interior, white and white paper. That is fine. Uh, six by nine. Remember that we did it back in book bolt. So you're just going to leave it the same thing. We're going to do it bleed PDF only matte and glossy i'm just going to leave it at matte so now you can upload the manuscript to your book what you have to do is just click this option here and upload the manuscript remember on book bolt when you saved your book you have two files one file is your cover and the other file is the interior of your book so what you have to do is you want to have in the manuscript you're going to upload the interior and in the book cover what you want to do is upload the book the cover of the book that you want to sell so it's pretty straightforward it's very very easy all you have to do is just select the pdf and then you're going to preview the book to see if it's correct to see if it fits actually correctly on the frame and then you want to click save and continue. All right. So once you hit this last page here, it's going to ask you to set the primary marketplace for me. It's amazon.com. I'm going to be selling it in the United States. So it's amazon.com. So now you have to set a price for your book. Now I want to give you some advice before you start charging very expensive for this book. You can put the price almost free or free just so you can get some reviews on the book and why do you want to do that because every time someone makes a purchase on amazon they usually go by the reviews and if you don't have any reviews it's going to be hard for you to start making sales you need to to put some upfront work so what you can do here is you can set the price of your book low or even for free and then you can ask your friends to download it and give you a review and you can even do it yourself you can download it and you can leave some rev reviews or you can ask your mom and dad whatever you can you know ask someone that you know your boyfriend your girlfriend and the more reviews you can get the more you're going to make sales okay just in this case to show you how you set a price i'm going to put 4.99 so 4.99 is in us dollars that's the price of my book so as you can see when i populated it with 4.99 it automatically populated the rest uh, in 
in other currencies. So when people go to buy my book, it's already going to be in the price for that specific person in that specific country. So right now, when you finish doing all of this, all you have to do is you need to click publish your uh, Kindle ebook or whatever it says here for you. And your book is going to be published. Bear in mind, it takes 72 hours. Like it says here, it can take up to 72 hours for your title to be available for purchase on Amazon because Amazon has to review your book, see if you don't have any copyrighted material, see if you don't have any adult material. They, they're going to review the book that you submitted for sale. And after they approve it, you're going to start making sales. And like I said, if you want to get some reviews first, send it to your friends and, uh, and family, ask them to leave a review for you. You can even, you know, sell it to them for free, whatever you want. And after you have a substantial amount of reviews, then you can start pricing it, whatever you want to price it and start making that sweet, sweet passive income. Now that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you want to find those titles, I'm going to leave the link. You can just click the screen right now and go to the other video and check that out. I hope you like this video. I'll see you on the other video. Work hard, play harder.